Good morning, folks. Welcome to the chip break. Let's take a walk around the shop. We are finishing up on our organization project. Video to come on that, but as you can see here, this has been a real focus of ours, and I'm very excited for it. It's obviously a little bit of a mess in the making, but uh, this is gonna, this is a game changer for us. I am. I, I'll show you a little bit here in the other room. I am so excited I did this. It was. It's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I'm so freaking happy about it. I've been stripping the paint, uh, courtesy of some advice from Keith Rucker and Basement Machine Shop on uh, using the Citra, what do you call it, Citra strip. This is kind of a, a labor of love side project for me, although I do wanna, um, I don't wanna have it take you know, months, but uh, it's gonna clean up, I think, pretty nice. And boy, the uh, radial, radial arm, the, it seems very smooth. So I'm really excited about the potential of this thing. Um, haven't done much on the horizontal yet. I got a three-quarter inch Cat 50 holder so that I can at least use any Tormach a TTS tool in it for now in a pinch as a placeholder. This machine is cleaning up great. Again, more work to come, uh, and I'd, I'd love to get this thing up and running and get some test cuts. I did do a rough level on it to try to help um, minimize any you know distress we're putting into the bed. Let me tell you, that chuck was really heavy. Uh, but we, we got her off. We bought a scissor lift. Uh, for those of you on Facebook saw that I asked, uh, you're gonna laugh, but do you build your own? Uh, but we found one for, uh, I think what was a good price, and, and we need one, simply put. I had been borrowing an extension ladder, or not an extension ladder, what do you call it, a V ladder, over here, and that's just not safe. I mean, it's so heavy, it's so difficult to handle, no, no good. Uh, there's so many times we need to go up there for power, for airlines, for, hanging our banners for checking on something. We need to do some paint touch up outside. Totally makes sense. Um, I'm really excited to announce uh, one of our new products. We're gonna do a real formal launch and announcement and so forth, but it is a replacement fixture plate base for the DeWalt DW872. Um, so it includes the uh, replacement for the factory base you see here. So it's a piece of C-channel and this plate and these awesome uh, style vertical clamps. Uh, that we partnered up with Armor Tool on. It does not include the conveyor system, although you can build your own and we're happy to share the plans on that. And this thing has just been a game changer for us. The saw is incredible. Um, the ability to, to cut aluminum, and you can even cut steel, although we usually keep this to aluminum, is great, but the factory base stinks. Um, so our, our method, you can see, um, well, we'll do a whole more formal video on it here, but there's a much better way. These are quick acting toggle clamps, which are great. And they um, auto adjust. And then this little piece here is one we just came out with that'll let you do your 45 degree angles, uh, adjusting them in. S super excited. We've got a few of these left in stock. We're get, we've got the second batch in the works. Here's a project we're working on next week. It's uh, something for a motorcycle part. We gotta do a bunch of material removal on that. I think we're gonna do a Wednesday widget out of it as long as I got time to squeeze that in. And speaking of that, the last month, it's been, a, it's been a weird month, you know, between Jim's passing and having family in town, my wife is due with our second baby any day. In fact, today's technically her due date. Um, so I've been pre-recording Wednesday widgets. Um, you know, you always make sure what you do what's important in life. And obviously there was some time, some good family time recently, and then trying to get some of my work done ahead of time so that I could spend some time with the family once the baby comes. And September is gonna be a crazy month because we're going to IMTS and we're going to a Fusion 360 feedback thing. Um, but that's all, all good stuff. I did wanna share, we did a sort of collaboration with um, X39 Brick Customs, I think is the correct name. What he's doing is just awesome. He makes a lot of these different Lego things and he made us an NYC CNC uh, Saunders Machine Works Lego. He sent one to us at our open house and I just thought that that was absolutely awesome, really cool of him. So we ordered a batch. So we've got these for sale on our website. Um, aside from the fact that I think they're pretty cool, it's a way to support our channel. Um, and as always, we've got, <clears throat> we've got Saunders Machine Works t-shirts in stock as well sort of continuing back with the organization thing, having an electronics bench back has just been uh, amazing. It's really something I haven't had since the New York days, and I'm so excited to get back into Arduino stuff, automation, electronics, mixing that in. In fact, tomorrow's Wednesday widget is a little Arduino project, and it's just freaking great. Uh, so excited. We got our new orange vise 
which is very, very nice. I've got to get it put over on the 1100. What stemmed this was actually to maybe a little bit of a big vice for the 1100. We're gonna see how it works. But the dual station is great and the Carve Smarts, folks. If you don't know Carve Smarts, we'll, we'll do a video on them, but they're quick release, soft jaws. These are soft jaws, they have hard jaws. You can have ground jaws stepped into them. You can have short stubby soft jaws, they repeat. You're going to laugh, but I had um, I own a rental property that had some stained ceiling tiles, and my dad actually mentioned this to me, and I gotta share it because it's just one of those amazing things if you don't know about it. Kills, link in the video description. This stuff does a pretty darn good job, pretty amazing at covering up. Uh, again, I was using it for drop ceiling tiles, but they talk about it doing, well, I guess that's mostly what it is for. I think someone was saying there's even more uses for it, but just for like whatever, six, seven bucks, one of those amazing products that if you don't know about it, holy cow, really nice. Last thing I wanna end with is we had a great meeting with the local SCORE chapter, and I wanna talk more about that later, but um, the, today's chip break, I wanna share with you guys an amazing book. And I, I say that because really, I'm not always a huge fan of books, and I think a lot of times, um, I'm just not. This one is different. This is the book. Um, small time operator, how to start your own business, keep your books, pay your taxes, and stay out of trouble. And I like this because it's less, um, it's less like advice, and it's more, this is what you need to do. So it's less, say, business planning and strategy, and more like, hey, you know, you need to have here's labor laws, here's tax code, here's accounting, here's legal. And yeah, you know what? Some of it's a little bit dry, but I will tell you the cost of this book is nothing compared to the, the trouble you can get, not trouble, but you know, hassle factor, doing things incorrectly, the time it costs to talk to attorneys, talk to lawyers, and, and you're still gonna need to talk to them. Read this book, get a little bit smarter, use it as a reference. It's not a thriller novel, I'll clue you, but it's good and I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't feel that way. And I just, I like this book and it touches a sensitive spot because I went to Babson College. It's the number one college in the United States for entrepreneurship. I love entrepreneurship. It's something I'd, I'd like to talk more about with you guys. And I graduated eighth in my class. I worked my butt off in school. I loved it. This book covers so much of the basics, the fundamentals, the nitty gritty um, that, that sometimes that just stuff just doesn't cover. So if you're, if you're thinking about starting a business, if you own a small business, if you have these sort of questions, I, I highly recommend this book. I want to thank my buddy Ryan Hasty for recommending it. And yeah, that's it for today's chip break, folks. Stay tuned for more. We'll have a new addition to the Saunders family soon. Otherwise, take care. See you soon.